Boys and girls, this week we're going to read a story called Piggy Pie. Piggy Pie. This is written by Margie Palatini, and it's illustrated by Howard Fine. Now let's think about that. Margie Palatini is the author. What does an author do? An author writes the words, and the illustrator is Howard Fine. So what does Howard Fine do? You guessed it, he draws the pictures. That's exactly right. And look at these pictures that he's drawn. I see a bunch of pigs on the cover here, and I see a character here. I wonder who this is. And our story's called Piggy Pie. Hmm. Let's see what this is about today. Piggy Pie. Gritch the Witch woke up grumpy, grouchy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious, something delightful, something special. But what? Is your tummy ever grumbling when you wake up in the morning? Mine sometimes is. Hmm, wonder what she wanted to eat. It wasn't purple mouse tail stew. Ooh, mouse tail stew? No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Maybe some mashed dragon tongue pudding. Ooh, yuck. No, Gritch wasn't in the mood for anything quite that sweet. Oh, she says that's sweet. Perhaps a taste of bald black buzzard feet. That always made her mouth water. Buzzard feet, gross. No, not today. Today, Gritch wanted something truly tasty, something really yummy, something special, and that could only mean, look at her waking up, look at her bed. It's even yawning. Ooh, I wonder what her truly something special is gonna be. Piggy pie. Gritch said, smacking her lips. She hurried to her pantry and she pulled down her old hag cookbook from the top shelf and she picked off a spider, blew off the dust and turned to a secret recipe on page 342. Gritch ran her bony finger with the long green nail down the list of ingredients. Ooh, let's see what ingredients she sees in piggy pie. One eye of a fly. She checked the pantry shelf. No problem, said Gritch. Two shakes of a rattlesnake's tail. No problem, said Gritch. Three belly hairs of a possum. No problem, said Gritch. Eight plump piggies. So she had the fly, she had the rattlesnake hair, or the rattlesnake's the rattle. She had the hairs from a possum, but now she needs eight plump piggies. Problem! Screeched Gritch. I don't have any piggies. How can I make piggy pie? Without even one puny pink pig. Gritch pulled her hair. She stopped her feet. She paced the floor. She wanted piggy pie. She wanted piggy pie very much. Hmm, she said, tapping the lucky wart on her chin. Now where would I find eight plump pigs? Where's she gonna find pigs? Well, Gritch thought and thought and thought. Aha! She said with a jump. The circus! Yes! Yes, the circus! No, no, not the circus. You don't find pigs in the circus. So she thought harder. Aha! She shouted with a jump. The zoo! Yes, yes, the zoo! No, no, not the zoo. You don't find pigs in the zoo. Hmm. She thought much harder. The farm! Yes, yes! Well, there was still just one teeny 
tiny little problem, where to find a farm. Well, Grinch let her bony fingers do the walking and she opened the yellow pages to F where she found a very large ad for a, see right there, farm. This was it. Look what it says. Old MacDonald's Farm. Call E-I-E-I-O. Ah. So she found an advertisement for a farm. Gritch put on her, put her broomstick in gear and she headed over the river and through the woods to Old MacDonald's Farm. I've got you in my sights now, you little piggies, you porkers. She cackled as she circled overhead. Look what she wrote in the sky with the clouds. She wrote, surrender, piggies. Look at the pigs. Woo, they're scared when they see Gritch flying over, aren't they? You think she's gonna catch her some pigs? Look what the pigs are doing. Can you tell? They're putting something on. <gasps> Are they gonna try to trick Gritch? Gritch zoomed in for a thump, 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 urge landing. She spit straw. She fanned her still smoking tootsies and she lifted her goggles. There wasn't a pig in sight. Look what the pigs have done. Where did they all go? Gritch shouted to a duck. Hey, duck, I said, where are all the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Well, the duck quack quacked here, and he quack quacked there. Here it quacked, there it quacked, everywhere it quack quack, quack quack quack, no piggies. What do you mean, no piggies? You dizzy duck, Grit screeched into its bill. Hand over those hogs, you little quacker. No piggies, quacked the duck. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of her most evil spells. But the duck was not impressed. It wasn't even scared. It gave Gritch another quack and waddled away. So, who needs a dumb duck? Gritch muttered. Did the pigs trick her? Dressed up like ducks and they were able to trick her. Did you notice what the duck said? Quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here, quack, there, quack everywhere, quack, quack. Because whose farm is this? It's old McDonald's farm. Being careful where she stepped, Gritch wandered across the meadow. Yoo-hoo, she shouted. Boo. You, said Gritch to the cow. Where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. You see that cow? You see what it really is? It's those pigs again. The cow moo mooed here and it moo mooed there. Here it mooed, there it mooed, everywhere it moo mooed. Moo, no piggies. <gasps> those pigs are at it again now. They've dressed up like a duck. What do you mean no piggies? You lumpy looking cow, screamed Gritch. Look at her mouth. Oh. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Fork over the pork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your cream. No piggies, mooed the cow. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the cow with one of her most evil spells. The cow stared at Gritch, swatted a fly with its tail, and lumbered away. Cows! Who needs them anyway? muttered Gritch. What do you think's gonna happen next? Is she gonna find the pigs? She tried the barnyard where she shop, stopped a chicken in its tracks. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? Hmm, 
what do you think about this chicken? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The chicken cluck clucked here, and it cluck clucked there. Here it clucked, there it clucked, everywhere it cluck cluck, cluck 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 cluck, no piggies. Who's dressed up as a chicken now? Grinch screeched. What's going on here? Who's the boss of this heap of hay? The chicken flapped a wing toward old MacDonald. Look at this chicken. Look right there. Do you see the piggy tail? Not really a chicken, is it? It's those pigs dressed up again. Hmm, okay. The chicken flapped its wing toward old MacDonald. He was the leader of the farm, right? Gritch looked him over once. Look at old MacDonald. She looked him over twice. You're old MacDonald? You don't look much like your picture, do you? Well, the farmer thumbed his suspenders and shrugged. Look, Shorty, I've been quack quacked here and moo mooed there and cluck clucked everywhere all over this farm. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Where are the piggies? The farmer looked here, he looked there. Here he looked, there he looked, everywhere he looked, looked. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies? You flea bitten seed spreader, you must have piggies. Gritch pulled her hair, she stomped her feet. She even threatened him with one of her most evil spells. No piggies. Her stomach growled. It grumbled, but there were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now, what was she going to eat? Psst, psst, psst. Excuse me, little lady. Wolf's the name. <gasps> Look who showed up. Let me give you some advice. Forget the pigs. Forget about the pigs, said Gritch, eyeing the wolf. He nodded. They're too tricky. Trust me. I've been chasing those pigs for days. What story can you think of where a wolf is chasing pigs? The three little pigs, that's right. It must be the wolf from the three little pigs. He huffed and he puffed. I'm starving. Look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Look how he's all beat up. Look, his arms in a sling, his head's wrapped up. Gritch pinched his arm. Well, not quite, she grinned. Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. Since you haven't eaten, and I haven't eaten, why don't you come home with me for lunch? I'm a very good cook. Why, that does sound tempting, the wolf said. He looked at Gritch, and he smacked his lips. Uh, are you sure I wouldn't be any problem? Problem? Gritch grinned. Now we know good readers can infer and good readers can that means use our clues and figure out what's happening even when the story doesn't say it. So right now we're gonna do some inferring. What do you think Gritch means when she says, why don't you come home with me for lunch? What is she thinking? She's not gonna be making piggy pie. Why would she want the wolf to come home with her for lunch? What can we figure out? Hmm, think. What do you think she is meaning when she says, why don't you come home with me for lunch? I want you to stop this video, grab your red journal, and I want you to write what you think it is. What did Gritch mean when she said, why don't you come home with me for lunch? Then after you've written and you've drawn what you think is gonna happen when the wolf goes home with Gritch for lunch, come back and see the rest of the story.